The new survival crafting MMORPG is just around the corner and are already soon, just in a couple of days, we're going to be getting the alpha. So I am welcoming you to Bitcraft, Age of Automata. So this is a new, brand new MMORPG coming and it's a different one. It's not like the typical one where you have two faction fighting each other, killing each other. No, no, this game is different. This game, Bitcraft is the first large-scale survival crafting MMORPG work with thousands of other players to rebuild civilization in a single, massive, uncharted world. Watch the alpha announcement trailer for a glimpse of what Bitcraft has to offer. And that is exactly what we are going to do. So it looks like everyone is like starting different places, kind of like Minecraft, but on the same server. Then you can get together with your friends. A survival crafting MMORPG. So you gotta like build a little cave with your friend. Choose your path, mining, fishing, crafting, shape the world. Ah, so you can even change the world, it's kind of like building a bridge. That's pretty cool. Rebuild civilization. Oh, okay. So you can like get a little little town into actually a big city. Meet unique travels. And I think they tried to show like a little preview of the character creating customization stuff. If you have seen the movie, you know where this guy is coming from. Explore a vast world. Uncover secrets of the past. Bitcraft, Age of Automata. And again, we gotta get um, an alpha, closed alpha, here on April 2. Um, basically, as they also say here, is that uh, we can see here that it says, get your first proper look at the gameplay from Bitcraft's upcoming community-driven sandbox MMORPG that emphasizes farming, hunting, crafting, city building, and social strategy and also featured music from by renowned video game composer Austin Vintory. See, this game is interesting because it seems like it's a, like a survival game, crafting, and so on, but it seems like it has no combat. So I guess it reminds a bit of, if we're gonna mention other games like Palia, um, Animal Crossing, games like that, which is gonna be interesting because what if like everyone is gonna build a town. How will you make towns disappear again? Will towns be there forever? Because there's no PvP. So what do you do with that? Establish small villages to large empires. Forget the static worlds of traditional MMORPGs. You get to build your own town in Bitcraft, build up your settlement from a small village into a global economic hub of trade. Build a mountain of fortresses or an outpost of the first reaches of civilization for very travelers. 
So it sounds pretty cool, like you can, with your friends or community, go together and kind of like build your own city that other people can come and basically meet, trade, all the things. Become a legend. Online games with separate player host and sandbox server, Spitcraft takes place in a single massive pro procedural generation world. Hone the skills you're interested in, like farming, fishing, mining, or foresting. Become a master of your craft and make your name known throughout the land. Again, I'm very curious to see if this is going to be like only a Europe game. Like, you know, we're going to have a Europe server, US server, Asia server, stuff like that. Or if everyone's going to be playing on the same server. Explore to learn more about the world. Explore wilderness outside of your town. Find wildlife, a mysterious traveler carrying out their business. Hunt for more materials to improve your settlements or sell them to open market. Find deposits of mystical hexide crystals, hexide crystal and ancient ruins full of lost technology. Lay the groundwork. The world needs leadership and structure. Forge alliances and climb the ladder to the top. Become the sovereign of your town. Reward your friends and punish your rivals. This is interesting. This is the first time now they're saying the word punish your rivals. What does that mean? Rally your citizens to build the most advanced town and compete to make it capital city of your empire. And we also got a trailer like a long time ago, which is like the announcement trailer where you just see them walking around and, you know, sailing, basically making it look a bit like uh, a Zelda experience, but also pretty cool little trailer. Um, some more text about the game. So basically, yeah. What we just been experiencing now. Bitcraft is a sandbox in MobG, which encourages many different play styles, ranging from farming, hunting, and crafting to city building and social strategy, rather than empathizing combat alone. The game incorporates elements to of the subgenres such as survival games, sandbox games, role-playing games, city builders, and strategy games. The game takes place in a single massive edible sandbox world for all players to interact with and permanently need change. Players awaken as mystical, mystical being in the middle of the wilderness and will need to build a shelter to survive. Brickcraft has a, a skill system which lets play, players master their skills as they practice them. All characters begin as a blank slate and players build up experience in the aspects of the game that they like to spend with. Brickcraft goes beyond exploring, crafting, trading, farming, skilling through. Players can choose to work together to tame the wilderness and separate impressive towns and cities anywhere in the world. They can even unite cities to build empires across continents and oceans. At these levels, Birdcraft becomes a deeply social and strategic game. When I like when I hear about stuff like that, it, it really makes me think of like um, some kind of like civilization game, but where we actually are on the ground and build a city which is very interesting. So it's coming from a company called Clockwork Labs, which has these people here. Um, I'm not so much into the uh, gaming, um, what do we say, like the gaming world. So I don't know too much about these people, but they probably are known and or maybe have a background some other people know. Um, yeah, and they got a bit about the law, about and so on. So, but yeah, I just kind of want to show, well, share with you guys that Bitcraft is around the corner. It has an alpha coming already in a couple of days. And if you haven't signed up, I think you should sign up because this game looks interesting. So, yeah. Thanks for watching and uh, perhaps I'll see you on the alpha very soon. Peace out.